Hey everyone, good morning. You guys all look wonderful today. My name is Brittany Jones Cooper and welcome back to Build. Today I'm going to be joined by Katie Lowe's who plays one of my favorite characters, Quinn Perkins on the show Scandal. As we know, Scandal is in its final season and there is so much drama I have to talk about with Katie today. But first, let's check out a clip from this week's show. Stop it. How much I love you. Stop it. Please don't take my sunshine away. You're embarrassing me. Go away! You know how this goes. You've already been down here for over 48 hours, and you still have not made a single attempt to leave. Do you see the chain? I can't leave. I'm out of options. Why didn't you tell anyone? When you thought that Liv was the one who blew up that plane, you didn't tell anyone. Because I wasn't sure it was Liv who actually did it. Okay, but then you confronted her, and that made you sure, right? You were sure that it was Liv, but you still didn't tell anyone, not me, not Abby, not even your fiance. What does that have to do with anything? The Quinn I know would be tearing down the walls trying to get out of here. Instead, you're chilling on a filthy mattress, singing lullabies. Wildly out of key. I have a great voice. You have a child to think about. What would you know about raising a child? Where's your kid? Hey, Huck. Huck, come back. I didn't tell Charlie about Olivia. I didn't tell anyone about Olivia. If I told someone, it would have made it true. It would have made it real. That Olivia isn't Olivia anymore. Olivia has become some monster capable of... And I don't want to think that about her. Liv still has a chance to do the right thing. She's still capable of doing what's right. But you can't wait. He's gonna kill you. Rowan bought me a crib. He's not going to- The crib to... is for the baby. Your baby, Quinn, not you. Dun, dun, dun. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, that is the most intense clip of television I've yeah, ever Yeah, that might have been one of the more intense episodes, I think. It, I think, I think and that's was. saying a lot. For that was because that was last Thursday's yes, episode. Last and that Thursday. was, everybody, we weren't quite sure if I was Quinn, alive. Yeah, if And Quinn not alive me. Not. Quinn, Quinn, my character. Yes, if yeah. she was alive. I know. Because she had a whole funeral the week before. Right. Which was amazing it, to watch. And I felt like gun. a terrible human being on Twitter just being like, not lying, but I was kind of riding this fine line of saying things like, I'm so happy to be home with my son. I was just saying, like, kind of vague, general things that you might think I was the character was really dead. Um, yeah. So, this episode, I was gonna start with something else, but I feel like after watching that, I can't like nope. Go, we can't go avoid off of this. It. Let's so, get into it. Can you kind of explain for people who maybe aren't caught up or yes. haven't seen? Why is she locked kidnapped in a, in a bunker in a, white, yeah. a wedding dress? Not in that scene, but I, I was in a wedding dress in previous basically, scenes. Yeah. Um, basically. Rowan wants to get his freedom back. And in order for that to happen, he's kidnapping who he thinks is Olivia Pope's best friend. And he knows that if he tells Olivia that I've got Quinn kidnapped with her baby or soon to be baby, that you're going to give me my freedom. Um, so he kidnaps me on my wedding day and he has a bunker in the basement of his house and I'm handcuffed to a wall <laughs> and um, I could give birth at any second. And he tells Olivia, you know, I've got Quinn Perkins, so give me my freedom. Olivia Pope's like, I don't care. Kill her. Right. What? I know. Boo, like, Olivia Pope. Boo. The, like you keep thinking, Olivia, she's bad. She's evil now. No, she's she's bad. And then she does that, and it feels so personal. And it's not only, like, one of her besties, but it's her bestie who's, like, nine and a half months pregnant. It's like, right. whoa. She it's is her bestie really... who's pregnant and then took over her business. Yes. So it's like, yes. Whoa. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. thing. It was very crazy to shoot. I was, I think, nine and a half months pregnant when I shot the episode. I had my son two weeks later. Um, 
But it was an amazing place to work because we have this amazing female boss by the name of Shonda Rhimes. And also the lead of the show, Carrie Washington, um, had had two babies on the show. So there was just, it's an amazing place to be able to work. And clearly Shonda wrote me this incredible episode and she was like, I don't care that you're pregnant. I know that you can do this. Um, but there was an OB on set all the time. So making sure I was doing everything safely because the episode was very physical. I was going to say. And Quinn gives birth herself. Yeah. Did you um, have a body double at all for certain scenes? I, oh, yeah, yeah. I had a stun double. There was a stun and... coordinator. Yeah, that wasn't me. They were like so... And I was like, oh, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> um, and in between takes, we would all come over to my belly and just be like, it's fake. We're just kidding. We're safe. Um, because I'd be like screaming and crying. And I was going to say, real. was that like an extra level of acting? Because you are actually pregnant and you are sort of in yeah, this Yeah, I tried to... You know, I think sometimes when you're an actor, you really like try to go there mentally, like really put yourself in the situation. And I, in this episode, I was like, I think I'm going to give a healthy distance and not really like you. I mean, I'm clearly obviously pregnant, but I didn't want to like really like pretend it was my baby. I was like, he doesn't. We just we just need to. We don't need to do that. Let's leave him out of it. <laughs> yeah, let's leave him out of it. It's enough that he's in all the shots. You know what I mean? Like, he looked... I'm. It's so funny. His name's Albie. And, like, I'm like, there he is! Look at that shot! Yeah. Are you going to let him watch this one day and be like, there you are? <laughs> I've never thought about it Question. until this moment. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm totally yeah. going to let him see it and be like, there you were in Mommy's belly when she was acting like a crazy person. <laughs> how long did you have to spend in that bunker? Like, how many takes? I how think long we were that... in there, like, nine days. Oh, that's a or long something time. like that. It takes nine days to shoot an episode, and Quinn, most of her scenes in the episode were in the bunker. Um, but the bunker it was just a room they built on a soundstage, so it's not like I was actually downstairs in, like, a creepy basement. It was, like, totally fine and nice, and there was a PA who was asking me for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and taking off my shoes and, like, making sure I was drinking water. It's a great place. That's really sweet. Yeah. So let's talk about Olivia, because as we've said, she's now just so evil. I don't know what's going to happen. As a viewer, I've been watching since season one, and you, you're sort of designed to like Olivia, and now she's just so unlikable. And so I, I know you can't tell us, but like... I also don't know. Yeah, I'm okay. only a couple episodes um, shooting ahead of you guys, so like I don't know what the ending is. Um, I haven't been told, and that's really good, because if I go to a bar and have a cocktail, right, and I like, over. oops, <laughs> spill the beans, but I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. And you're right, Olivia is so bad. She's... Oh, she's just really crossed so many lines, and I and I don't know. I don't know if we're ever going to get her back in the white hat. I was going to say, what do know. you sort of want as a viewer, as a fan of the show? Of course, I'm like such an optimist and a glass half full person that I like. Yeah, I want Olivia like walking off into the sunset with like me, and 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 we're back in the office, and it's all happy go lucky. But you know, I don't know. I think Shonda she's the protector of the story and the characters. And I don't know if she thinks, I don't know if she thinks these characters are capable of a happy ending. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get that. I don't know if she's going to end up with Fitz. Yeah. I just, do I, we want her to end I, up with Fitz anymore? I personally not Katie, me speaking. I do not. I don't like, either. I'm like, come on. If that girl was your friend, right. You'd be like, for the 500th time, don't date that dude. He's like, it Mr. obviously Big. doesn't work out. Like, exactly. it doesn't work out. It so, like, don't work. date him. Right, 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 right. So, I mean, he's Mr. Big. It's like, Mr. enough Big, is enough. Who we also love, but she ended up with Mr. She Big. She did, Nancy, but it right? was a whole thing. Yeah, it was a whole thing. Yeah. But I don't, I don't need to see her. For Olivia to be happy, to me, it means that she's happy in her work. Like, I feel like she's a career woman. I feel like she loves her job. She's happiest when she's on the right side of justice, helping people. So I feel like that's where I want to see her end up. But Shonda's, like, way smarter than me. So <laughs> she's going to figure out a way better storyline than I could ever come up with. And Quinn is so loyal to Olivia, or at least she was. And so... Where do you see that going? I mean, somebody's got to kind of take I Olivia down. Think, do you think it can be Quinn? I think it, I don't know, but I don't think, I don't know if there's time in this season by the time the show wraps up. Like, I don't know if Quinn and Olivia will ever be on good terms again. I don't know. I mean, if someone did that to you. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, no. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know, but I do know Quinn, after she gets out of this predicament she's in and Joe in Papa Pope's bunker i know she's like stronger than ever right 
And let's talk about Quinn as a character because when we first met her, she wasn't necessarily the strongest character. No. And she was sort of impressionable. Bright eyed, bushy tailed, the rookie, the yeah. newbie. Sort yeah. of basic. Totally. Yeah. Like, the, like, the, like what, what can I learn? Why am I here? What? Every, yeah. like, I just had a lot of questions. Right. I was the audience's way into the world and how it worked. Um, I feel so lucky that in like seven seasons, I've gotten to do, I've gotten to shoot guns, I've gotten to die, I've gotten to murder people, murder people, <laughs> I've gotten to like have sex scenes with Guillermo Diaz, I've had sex scenes with George Newbern. It's like whatever. It's like a great. <laughs> I, I just feel like a lot of times people might book a show if they're lucky that has a long run, right. and however you meet them and their character is how they stay. And I just feel like that has not been the case with Quinn. She's changed and evolved and grown, as have I. Like, I booked the show when I was really new to the business and was really green. And since being on the show, I've gotten married. I've become a mom. What? <laughs> Crazy! And, you know, I've just, I've grown up, too. Yeah. It's been, how, I mean... I mean, I don't kill people, but... <laughs> that's obvious. That you're going to admit yeah. to yeah. on camera. <laughs> Because you're smart. Yeah. Um, so is it going to be hard for you to say goodbye to Quinn? Yes. Or are you ready to? Mm, gosh, I'm like, I don't like to think about it. I'm in denial. Um, I don't know. I, I think the whole thing is just so bittersweet. I think mostly I will miss the people. Um, I We're very, very, very close, and that is not a lie. I think probably there are a lot of TV shows where there's, like, drama, and people might say they get along. I swear to you guys, we are really, 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 like, in love as a cast. Um, and I think that's rare. And I do love the material, and I love the writing, and I feel so lucky that my boss is just such a badass and writes these amazingly complicated female characters, and I don't think so. Oh, God, how? I mean, this is... Yeah. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. What Shondaland does is a very unique thing. When you it look is. at the characters, specifically female characters she creates, yeah. the storyline she tackles, you really don't get that anywhere else. And yeah. I would imagine it's such a meaty, fun role oh, experience to be a part of. It's the best. I mean, she didn't, see, when I, you know, Shonda was like the first person I told I was pregnant. I told her I was pregnant when I was like five minutes pregnant. I think my, my husband, I told my husband and then I told Shonda Rhimes. Um, but... I, you know, she could, and she decided to write my character pregnant, um, and she didn't, what did she do? She wrote her pregnant, and then she gave me QPA. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, only an awesome, badass boss like that would see, like, my pregnancy as an opportunity to put, like, a pregnant woman on screen who's also running a business. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, that should be on TV, and I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, but I don't know if that is so often on TV, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I just feel like it's it's the best place to work. It's the best place to work. <laughs> and what, I mean, you guys knew that this was going to be the final season yeah. going in. Yeah. And so what has it been like in, I don't know, like each shoot, each table read? Does I it feel? we're in denial. Like? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, our table reads are really raucous. I think um, sometimes I've been at table reads for other projects I've worked on, and it's like really quiet and focused and like whatever. When we do a table read, we are banging on the tables and we are screaming and like, ooh, like, you know, it's like very um, like, oh, no way. Or, you know, there's just a lot of like, oh, my God. You know, there's just a lot of stuff how you guys would react when you actually watch the episodes that's how we vocally react during a table read we're not respectful at all of like people's process it's like we weigh in on how we feel um and i and we only have a few of those left yeah. Yeah. and it's just like i don't know we have some plans in the books for some major hangouts we have some press we're all doing you know we wrap march 15th but after or around then um mid-march and then we have some press things as a cast together and we have some trips planned as a cast just for fun but i mean i'm not going to be in the trailer at five o'clock in the morning with guillermo and carrie anymore it's like what do you guys think we should do a scandal movie <laughs> I just came up with that. Just throwing it out. There. I just throwing it out there. What do you guys think? Let's get that trending. Just taking a quick poll. Let's get the that trending. Yes, right. Something. I mean, I would love a spinoff. I mean, why not? Hello. Shonda, are you listening? Like, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> or just start melding all the shows and have like a. Or she could be like scandal. the Ryan Murphy of like. 
doesn't he take like the similar ca- like um he puts yeah. similar people in all of his work yeah it's all like, of the american all the american movie, horror yeah. story and then like he's taking so many of those actors and he put them in oj and i've bet a lot of them are in versace or whatever it is i'm That's like sort of what shauna they... does too I mean, she does do it in a way she really her. is loyal and committed to her troop of actors um and her troop of artists really yeah. like a lot of the same people that were on our crew and behind the scenes on scandal or on for the people or on the exactly. um station 19 things like that like she likes to collect good people which i'm honored to be a small part of that group right so she has a whole netflix deal going forward Mm -hmm. are you like shonda if you need me oh i will like say just i mean come on it's shonda rhymes tell me where to stand and what to say and i would be honored to do so happy to be there yeah so i want to talk really quick to you i mean the writers must be these crazy geniuses. They are. Because we got to be real. Some of the storylines are so outlandish and yes, crazy. Yes. But then it's also stuff I would have never even imagined. And I'm like, where do they come I from? I can't imagine being in a writer's room and just like pitching ideas. Yeah. Like, like let's I kidnap them. I know. <laughs> I have no idea how they make it work and how they've continued to do so for seven seasons. I mean, that is not easy. And, you know, now we're in a period of time where it, sometimes you look at the news daily and what we're doing isn't that outlandish. Fair. So, you know, it's Fair. they've they've had to come to terms with writing a political show during a vast array of political climates in the last seven, eight years. I know. We got our female president one way or another. You I got guess. your Melly Grant, you guys. <laughs> I'm I know, with her, I, know I know, I know. Ra- I'm the same. And my I get to live most of my work days in a world where there's a female boss, a female president, excuse yeah. me, and a female boss. Oh, why <laughs> not? And when you're acting out some of these big scenes, I mean, is that kind of hard to get in it? Like, Quinn has some outrageous scenes where I she's do. Like torturing yeah, people. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. And that feels like it would be hard to get in that mindset. I was actually talking to Guillermo we're about that. We're silly in between <laughs> every take. It's really weird. Like, we're really, like, we joke a lot and sing a lot and dance a lot and act like idiots. And, like, a lot of times when, like, Tony's directing or Scott's directing or something, when they come over to our side where it's Carrie and... Darby and you know the the QPA or OPA side it, we're really silly and like a fraternity house and they can't get us to be can't get us to be quiet but I think that that works I think that's why we're able to go there as dark as we need to for the intensity of the scenes um, because we don't live in that all the time right. do you know what I mean like we we go there and we we really go there and then when it's over we're just like ah so I think it works which must be nice for you as a new mom where you can do these serious scenes, yes. but then have fun. Yeah. And how has that been being a new mom, kind of it's, going into work every day? It's and having amazing. Out? Um, again, I, I feel like I'm talking about Shonda Rhimes a lot. Do you care? No. Everyone wants to talk about Shonda Rhimes. Um, I work in a place where the precedent has been set, you know, between Kerry Washington being a mom and Viola Davis is a mom, and a lot of the cast members on all of her shows are mom, and Shonda herself is included in that. There's just this place where I take my kid to work, um, it's the best. He's there with me. He, it's the, everyone, when he's not there, everyone's super sad and bummed. Like I get into the hair and makeup trailer and they're just like, is Albie here today? And I'm like, no, he has swim class, you know, whatever he's doing. He's, he's with his dad or he's with the nanny or whatever it is. And they're like, no, he needs to be at work. You know, it's fun to have a baby around. It makes people happy and it makes me happy. I mean, he's my kid, but, um, so he's at work all the time. And I am so lucky that we get to do that in Shondaland. And, um, there's a like a um, literally a kid what's it called a nursery with like toys there's like that's on the lot and it's where all like the Shondaland mommy's kids go and play and I feel so <laughs> lucky that they're like amazing. yeah they're like Albie can come play and I'm like he can yeah it's great it's and you can pop great. in and see him when you have time and that's yep. got to be so oh cool. I see him all the time and then yeah. he comes on set um I I haven't had him around set when there's been super, super intense scenes. That's fair. Yeah, that's probably fair. He doesn't need to, like, get that energy. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had it enough in that episode when he was in my belly. Yeah. But you said you didn't bring him this trip. This is your first trip away from him? This is my first night away from him was last night. And you guys, I was shooting yesterday. Um, and I saw Carrie and I was crying. I, I wasn't, I just had like a little bit of emotion. I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm about to get on a plane and be my first night away from my baby. And, you know, he's four months old and, and I, he's going to be fine. This is more me, you know, like he's fine. But 
you know, Carrie took me aside and was holding my hands. She's such a mentor to me in like every way and now motherhood as well. And she just held my hands and she was like, you don't want to be one of those moms who lets him leave for the first time ever when he's like 18. Like your job is to like love him and also like let him go and let and know that he's okay. And you've made good decisions for him in who's taking care of him. And guys, it's 48 hours. Like he's going to be fine. <laughs> um, and now I feel good. Like I did it. I made the flight and I'm seeing a Broadway show tonight and yes. I'm like let's get drinks but I I, I mean <laughs> it's like it's, let's get more drinks yeah, let's get more drinks no um I'm I miss him terribly and um my husband sends me videos and pictures like all day long um but yeah I I'm ex- I've never taken him to New York I'm from here you guys like I'm born raised I was gonna New say York. you're from Queens mm-hmm. right? I'm born in Queens Ozone Park and I went to NYU where I see all these flags around here and I was a drama major um and I just can't wait to like bring my son to New York for the first time because it's the greatest city in the world. Even if it's rainy and snowy. Doesn't like it matter. Is really? He's got it. It's the best. Yes. He's like, I can't believe I had a kid in LA. Like, <laughs> he, is he going to be like a surfer dude? Like, is he going to? He might I, be. I don't understand. He's like, gonna he's only going to know sunshine and kale and smoothies and traffic and the 405 and the Pacific Ocean. I mean, I grew up, I mean, it's just so bizarre. With the Hudson River? Yeah, yeah. I grew up with the Hudson River. I grew up with Jones Beach. I grew up with, you know, the subway. Like, I, I didn't learn to drive till I was, like, an adult. I mean, it, it's just totally weird. Actually, by the time he's driving, it's going to be, like, self-driving cars. He's not going to drive. I feel better about that, actually. He shouldn't drive. Well, and you never Or you Uber <laughs> everywhere, but it'll be... Or maybe we're just going to be in, like, spaceships. It's going to be, like, 20... 50 I'm, or something. I'm waiting for teleportation. I think that is closer than we think, guys. That would be the best. That would be the best. The best. You could go home and see him right after this and that come would be back. The best. It'd be amazing. Oh. Why don't we just invent it? Just do it. Okay, cool. Done. That's what I'm doing <laughs> after scandal, guys. I was gonna that's that hint, was my hint, next question. spoiler alert. That was my next question. What's your next act? But I think we just Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But, but I'm for creating real. with Brittany how to teleport. Um I run a theater company in L.A. called I Am A Theater Company. Literally the worst name for a theater company of all time. Um, We created it when we were 24 and drunk. Um, So I Am A Theater Company. It's near and dear to my heart. It's my passion project. I love theater and and work and paid work took me to L.A., thank God. Um, But I've never stopped doing theater because it's my first love and it's what I am most passionate about. So I have a theater company in L.A. and I work on it. A crazy amount. Shonda Rhimes is our patron of the arts, oh, and she literally takes care of us very generously and kindly. Um, so we have a lot of main stage plays coming up in the spring that I will possibly be in, but I will definitely be producing and definitely artistic directing on um, because I try to do theater as much as I can. It like reminds me of why I'm an actor and why I do what I do. Would you ever, I mean, uh, just give a question. Broadway. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> I have never been on Broadway. I got my equity card doing off-Broadway, right. um, which is super cool. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah. It's It's been seven years of awesomely having a job 10 and a half months out of the year. So I have not had the opportunity to even, like, try to get, like, a show. But... Come on. If me and Albie could just come to New York. <laughs> okay. And Adam, my husband, my dog. He's not good on planes, so we'd have to get a dog walker or something like that. But you it's take fine. a train. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could do that. Or yeah. drive, like, cross country. Do oh, okay. Too long. Too long. Um, and I would, that would be incredible. This is what I'm predicting for you. After school, We're on Broadway. Come back home I would do a little Broadway. love to. Would you guys go see her in Broadway? Come on. <laughs> That'd be, that would be so cool. That's amazing. All right, I think that's a perfect time to actually open up to the audience. I know we have Who's some questions. Who's got questions? questions. Right there. Hi. Hi. Um, so I know Kerry Washington's episode that she directed yeah. is airing this week. Yes. And um, Darby's directing this week, too. Yes. So I wanted to know if you would ever consider directing in the future. I would love to. I feel like secretly between you I feel like I could I feel like I'd be good at it um but only because I used to run a catering company so I'm good at like telling people what to do I um Carrie and Darby have been incredible at directing Joe Morton is also directing this season um I feel like Scandal wouldn't have been the best way for me to try because it's a very difficult show. Um, but also, I'm kind of the baby. Like, I'm the baby on the show. And, like, I can't imagine going to Jeff Perry and, like, 
giving him acting notes. Like, what? He's good. Like, he knows what he's right. doing. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I like that really wasn't for me for my first try. But I hope that I meet you again someday and we just have so much to talk about because I've directed so much. <laughs> Who's next? Hi, Katie. Hello. So I've been a huge fan of the show since it started, Thank and you. I'm very glad you're alive. Thank me too. Um, me too. So me too. Me too. I actually wanted to know more about the crossover episode that's about Ooh, to happen. Oh yeah, I'm like I can't tell you Good anything. Question. Um, oh, let's see what I can tell you. Well, Olivia Pope does an episode of How to Get Away with Murder, and Annalise Keating does an episode of Scandal, and that's where that ends. And then what happens? <laughs> I can't tell you of other people involved. I can't tell you how. Um, and then she killed Viola Olivia. Davis is a dream. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. Tony Goldwyn directed the episode because okay. he's fancy. Um, that's what I have for you on that. that I was, wish I could tell you that more. Was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing. I tried to make it sound sing songy, so it was interesting. <laughs> was but say, I've got nothing. You sort for of you. like dragged out <laughs> certain I have nothing words. For you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> nice try. I think we have one more question. Hi. Katie. Hi. I love you on Scandal. Thank I have you. a question for you. So yeah. it's such an intense show. Are there any uh, pranks that you guys pull on each other on set? It's all we do. But What's your I'm favorite one? I'm never the branker. I, branker. Guys, I am on so little sleep and so new, much coffee. I'm a new mom it. brain, guys. It's weird. I'm always the victim of the pranking. I am not a prankster. Like, I don't prank people. I don't think that way. Like, I'm never, like, alone being like, ooh, how am I going to get this person? Like, I, that's just, like, not who I am. Josh Molina, however, that is how he is. Um, he has whipped creamed my trailer handle door. He has put shaving cream on the door handles of my car. He has broken into my email address and sent me, like, weird oh one time he had some app where he can leave you a voicemail that says it comes from a different number and it changes your voice and he left a voicemail saying like hi this is us weekly or something and we have like a photo of you like doing something crazy like I had never done but you're like oh my god how did us weekly get my phone number what am I supposed to do like I've never been involved in a real scandal I don't know what the hell I'm doing and it was Josh Molina using like an app that his 13 year old son had showed him he's the worst but the problem is if you try to get him back which again I'm not a prankster but I've kind of attempted like one time we were at a table read and we had the writers write the last page that Josh Molina's character died. Um, but he's so smart. He, like, quickly looked at the script next to his, and it, that wasn't the same ending wasn't written that way. So he knew. So you can't ever get him. And if you do, just expect the worst retaliation ever. Because he has no lot. He doesn't care. Like, he will do anything for a prank. I stay away from him. He's scary. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see. Maybe you should call HR. Yeah, I don't so know. Scary. He's so scary. I know the rules have kind of changed, though, on all those pranks, haven't yeah. they? I know. It's like a whole thing. But Allison Janney, I've hung out with her before, and she is like has PTSD from the pranks that Josh Molina used to pull on her on West Wing. So I'm like, if Allison Janney is having a hard time, then like I'm not even going to mess with that. Well, I feel like it's the final season, so if he has a couple more pranks, you might... No! Just leave it alone. <laughs> just let's all hug each other and love one another and really cherish these moments. Well, it. I'm excited to see what the heck these writers come up with for the finale because I have honestly no idea how the show's going to end. I'm excited. Um, either. I know. But you know it's going to be good. It's, it's going to be great. It's not going to be what you expected, and it's going to be great, and it's going okay. to be sad. Okay. But the only way we're going to get through it is together. Yes. Am I right? Together, guys. Make sure you guys I check out I will see you Scandal. all in the Twitterverse, the Instaverse, all that. Make sure you guys check out Scandal every Thursday at 9, 8 Central. Thanks again, Katie. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.